What's up guys, in this video we are going to focus on selling print-on-demand jewelry. I haven't talked too much about this on my channel because as those of you that have been with me for a while know, I like to prioritize in my personal approach to print-on-demand uh, t-shirts, mainly. Uh, mainly because I prioritize merch by Amazon because I think it has the highest earning potential and I can take those t-shirt designs, put them on hoodies, put them on coffee mugs, put them on a bunch of different products that are optimized for that vertical rectangle. Now, jewelry is an exception. Jewelry doesn't, like I can't take a t-shirt design and put it on a heart-shaped necklace or a, a circle-shaped necklace like the one behind me. So that's why I don't do too much of it. However, you know, every year I say I need to get into jewelry because I have a gear bubble subscription. I can get these gold-plated necklaces fulfilled at $7.95 base cost and I can sell them for 30 bucks. All right, so what was it two weeks ago I think I shared a video talking about gear bubble doing a pretty awesome deal for lifetime integrations and I know some of you guys took advantage of that even if you didn't though you can still go sign up for gear bubble for free you just don't get the automatic integrations where you get automatic fulfillment of your orders but if you want to try selling some print on demand jewelry this video is for you so let's get started Quick reminder, enter the free weekly print-on-demand giveaway. Two winners are going to be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. They're going to receive a license to Merch Titans, Upload Automation, Merch Ninja, Research Tools, All Sunsets, Premium Graphics, and Bubble Scout, my go-to Redbubble niche research and validation tool. The link is at the top of the description. Also down there, I've got an eight-day print-on-demand mini course completely free. Just need your email, and I'll send you one lesson a day. And I've got a great print-on-demand Facebook group. I'd love to have you there if you would like to join. All right, all those are in the description. Now, Valentine's Day, guys, it's not random that we're talking about jewelry on uh, January 11th, okay? It is not random. With Valentine's Day coming in, you know, a month and a few days, there's going to be an influx of people looking to buy jewelry online. And hey, why not buy it from us, right? So February 14th is Valentine's Day 2022. By the way, guys, it's going to be here before you know it. So make sure you go out there and get something uh, before it's too late. All right. So here's just a couple examples. When I searched for gear bubble necklace on Amazon. Now searching Gearbubble necklace, most of the products listed through Gearbubble are not going to be indexed on the word Gearbubble. I don't know necessarily why these ones are. I didn't really try that hard to figure it out, but these are all examples of jewelry being fulfilled by Gearbubble that are being sold on Amazon. As you can see, some of them look pretty nifty. Like there's definitely a design style that seems to do well when you're designing jewelry on Gearbubble. Like for instance, the gradients i almost never i mean I, I literally never use gradients actually uh i never i mean okay almost never use gradients when i'm designing a t-shirt and the bevel and emboss like special effect in photoshop and whatnot uh they're also pulling that off in some of these designs as well but i think it actually looks okay it looks good okay and like customers vote with their dollars the, the, all of these behind me were near the top of page one so they're selling pretty well i mean they'd all made sales recently let's put it that way and you can check me on that. Go to go to Amazon and check. Use the DS Amazon Quick View to view the BSR Chrome extension. Uh, anyways, so there's definitely a design style. This stuff definitely works. And you know, if you're a good designer, check out the the design behind me. Now, this is a little bit more time than I would like to spend on a design. But as you can see there, they like even made the text curve and contour all the way around the heart to the point where it's to the point where the text is even upside down at the bottom there. So that's actually pretty crazy here. Right behind me is the one I'm talking about. Uh, the one that says to my little princess anyways so this is not going to be a full design tutorial about how to make good looking jewelry it's going to be a tutorial of like a if i if you know nothing about this i'm going to show you everything you need to know to actually get your first listing up okay so we are going to start by just looking more in depth really quickly at these uh different pieces of jewelry for inspiration we're going to check out the price point so this one by the way i don't agree with them selling pokemon it's probably an original artwork but I would highly recommend ever infringing on a big brand like Pokemon because they can get removed from Amazon in the blink of an eye. Uh, check out the price point though, $35. They're making, you know, before Amazon fees, they're making what? Um, Got to subtract eight bucks, 27 bucks per sale. So that's crazy. And they have three reviews. So they've, they've made quite a few sales. Uh, the second one here, $33 price point. And uh, they've already got four reviews. So they've certainly made some sales. Notice how like, by the way, the background color, that you choose like you can use a white background color like this you can do a black background um whatever background color you use you know you can look at these uh different products for inspiration of like what colors maybe contrast well so if you want to do a black background hey maybe use a gold foreground and a pink foreground we know that those seem to contrast well here 
Uh, another one here, this is they're only charging $16 for this one. And you can see they've got a, like a complex background image with text over top. Uh, it's the design's not too complicated and you know, it's dedicated to a dad, you know, so they didn't do the heart necklace. Maybe if you want to do some jewelry for men, that's a nice way of differentiating yourself and do the, the circle pendant and they're charging 16 bucks. So they're not making as much money here. We got a $21 price point. Uh, this is for the, uh, a girlfriend and you can kind of see like, you know, you could, it says to my gorgeous girlfriend, you could change girlfriend to wife, by the way, you know what I mean? And then market to two different uh, audiences. Here's another one, uh, only $10. I wouldn't charge $10 because by the time Amazon takes their fees, I don't even know if you're making any money. Although this one's prime eligible. So this is actually FBA. So it's possible that maybe this is like, you know, either Gearbubble themselves selling it as FBA or somebody, you know, went and asked them to order um, FBA necklaces and whatnot. And maybe they only sell these before Valentine's Day. That's something that you can actually do with print on demand products that sell really well seasonally. You can through Gearbubble, at least uh, certain products. I don't know about jewelry. I've never tried, but they actually have the capacity to let you order a case and they'll discount the rate and send it to your Amazon FBA warehouse for you. Uh, so that's something that, you know, can be on your radar as a way of, you know, doing print on demand a little bit differently than, than most other people do. Uh, one last one says to my wife, never forget they're charging 21 bucks, 20 ratings. So this one is selling quite well. So take some notes here. They got the black background, the gold foreground in the design, pink, green, etc. Uh, and just as a design style of like where to lay out the different elements of a design, you know, take some notes here. This one's selling really well. Uh, customers love it. So, you know, designing jewelry like like I was doing some some heart designs the other day and I was like how the heck am I gonna like fill the top left corner in the top right corner of the heart and am I gonna try to get like tricky with how I lay out the text and whatnot and I realized like uh, I'm gonna be here all day if I do all this you know I'm not a good designer so I, I have to make it work for me so I came up with a, a solution anyways to fulfill these orders we're going to assume we're using gear bubble like I don't know of a production partner that's got better rates than gear bubble I've heard of shine on I'm gonna look into that but they don't have an Amazon integration that I'm aware of and I don't know if they do print on demand um, I have to look more into that but gear bubble for now is the best production partner that I'm aware of for jewelry so that is what I'm going to you know focus on in this video so in order to launch a jewelry campaign whether you are going to, you know, whether you have the integrations or not, you still need to what they call launch a campaign. So you go to gearbubble.com, you log in, you'll see a dashboard, click the green launch campaign button. When you click it, hit traditional. Then you can see all the different product types. Go ahead and click necklace. After that, you can actually, um, under the default style, there's a bunch of different styles. So the default that I think you see is like a silver round pendant. Uh, I would recommend switching it to a gold heart necklace or I mean it's completely up to you I'm focusing on the gold heart pendants in this video and then I go ahead and I upload my design so I'll show you how to do designs in a second but uh, anybody who is familiar with POD turbo their software facilitates upload automation from Gearbubble to Amazon seller central I use them every day to push 200 new products a day to my seller central account I will drop a link in the description to my full pod turbo tutorial in case anybody wants to check it out but anyways these this is basically everything you need to know as far as automating this process that i'm going to show you um, for your spreadsheets those are the values that you would need uh, and yeah the design dimensions are 2000 by 2000 pixels all right and i also am going to put a link in the description to where you guys can download both the uh, necklace heart shape and circle shape templates so that you know you know what design rules you need to stay within while you're doing your designing i found those pretty useful uh, so 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and then just dra drag and drop these and use them as your guides you know use them as your backgrounds and you know whatever background color you want i would just change them to that color all right and in this first design example i wanted to show you that you can actually use like vexels for instance to design a necklace in two seconds that actually looks pretty good uh so i went to vexels i looked for uh valentine's day and then it hit me like rather than just doing the same normal Valentine's Day stuff that's like kind of sappy and oh I love you this that why not make a funny Valentine's Day like if you go to go to Etsy and search Valentine's Day the whole first row was like funny Valentine's Day parodies so Vexels has this funny design says I don't make mistakes I date them right so I just went and I downloaded this design throw it up on a necklace and boom you've got a funny Valentine's Day necklace you know I don't know if that market is underserved or if it's more competitive than standard Valentine's Day but I did just want to make sure I threw this out there guys that you know don't box in your thinking to only one way you know you can have the Valentine's Day parodies the the V is for video games you know uh, equivalent of that shirt you know for jewelry 
So I'll drop a link to Vexels too in the description in case you want to check them out. They have such great graphics, man. If you want to do it yourself though, go into Photoshop, Photopea, whatever you prefer to use. Uh, you can set your canvas to 2000 by 2000 pixels. That is the recommendation. Then in Photoshop here, start with one of those uh, design guides. Again, you can download them. I'll put a link in the description so you can go grab them. Uh, and then I ended up making this as my design okay now i know i just jumped a bunch of steps but i didn't intend for this to be a design video all i really did there is i used the text tool right i got some big bold text and i've got some smaller thinner text and naturally i realized that i messed up the design it says i love seeing you you naked but i went in i fixed it so now it says i love seeing you naked uh I have overlaid on it the template that Gearbubble provides that kind of makes its way into the final rendering. However, you don't want to export that in your mock-up, so I do turn off that layer before I export my design. Uh, you can see that you know in the top right corner, top left corner, I've just kind of messed around with including different various graphic elements that I feel like fit the uh, the vibe that I'm trying to convey. So some hearts, a rose. You know, you can have the the outline of hearts. You can have the actual like heart itself. I came up with a nice looking kind of gold gradient that I feel like complements this style of jewelry, especially the, you know, gold trim necklace, because you can choose between like gold, silver, etc. in gear bubble. So I like the final outcome here. And what I actually ended up doing, guys, well, here's the, the final product, too. You can see it comes together really nicely. Uh, and you know, I, I think it looks good. It's going to need to kind of stand out cause it's not, you know, the barrier of entry is not that high to sell jewelry, uh, print on demand jewelry, especially when I put out videos like this for free on YouTube. And now everybody that didn't know how the heck to pull this off can pretty much, you know, Google it and find it. So, um, make sure your designs look good. And speaking of looking good guys, I did for $7 put together a print on demand jewelry design template. I know most of you guys don't need it, but Hey, if you want a quick, easy way of going from nothing to this because you can go copy my gradient overlays you can copy i put a folder of various graphic design elements that you can kind of turn on turn off in your designs so the hearts the trim a bunch of like those fancy lines banners so you can put the the text over the banner like the one we saw earlier with the girlfriend design a bunch of different stuff guys so for seven bucks if you're interested you can go buy this on gumroad i'll put a link in the description and for everybody else you can just go figure it out yourself just make sure your design doesn't suck i know i always say that but Again, you know, you can do everything right. If your design isn't air quotes good enough, uh, the likelihood of making sales is going to go down or, you know, the likelihood of returns, which is like worst case scenario, because then you actually lose money uh, goes up. Uh, I've also got a full print on demand course. Anybody that's in my print on demand course, you get this template completely free. It's included in your enrollment. So, um, you know, there are benefits to joining the full print on demand course. There is a link in the description to that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, especially if you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys at the next one.